Five main reasons why you don't do this working out of a paint can. Contamination. Once any bits, bits get into this, then it's all over your finish and it'll ruin it. Evaporation. Viscosity. The paint, everything's evaporating off it. It'll thicken up, get harder to use. You have to thin it off and by volume, you're using quite a lot of thinners and weight which I'm glad to get to because it becomes uncomfortable creases your fingers get numb start shifting around just not easy to work out of so what do you do you put it down it either goes on your steps onto a sill or the floor and it's going to get knocked over if it gets knocked over, it's all gone. So we just have to buy more paint, wasting time. And then loading your brush. You can't load your brush properly. You tend to start to wipe it on the sides. Ending up with a lot of paint on the end of the brush, which then you can transfer drips onto your woodwork. If you're doing small amounts, small trim, then too much paint loaded on at one point so just a lot more spreading out not the right way to do it so yeah not comfortable by far the best thing is to use a paint kettle you can use a pelican whatever suits you and simply pour some out, you don't need to use a lot depending on what you're doing but straight away I've eliminated all those problems so the paint's now clean no evaporation and it's not going to get knocked over no problem there this now if it gets contaminated it's only a small amount. I've got fresh paint evaporating. You can thin it off with a small amount of thinners as you need, whether it be water or white spirit. And then weight, no problem there. Work with that all day. And then working your brush, be able to put paint onto the brush, work it on the side, removing any excess. And you can just carry on painting so yeah all those problems you can solve just by using something like that not a problem and if you've not got a kettle you can always use a mug but don't get them mixed up it's a bit cold or oh, waste not one lot